And with that, our voice agent is set up and ready to make calls triggered by our make scenario. Then we'll add the VAPI module to create an outbound phone call. We will need to set up the connection to our VAPI account, which means we'll head back into that dashboard, click on API keys, then copy your private key. If you don't see one in there, just go ahead and add a new one, give it a relevant name, decide if you want to restrict it to only work on certain sites, or if you only want it to work with specific assistant, then create the private token. You'll see it pop up here then just copy it. But make sure to save this somewhere safe since you won't be able to view it again. Pasting the key into the VAPI module should set up our connection and we can configure our call. We'll just fill in these fields, giving it the assistance ID, which you copy from the top of the VAPI assistant page. We provide the assistant with the lead's phone number pulled from their Airtable record, but what number is our assistant calling from? If we head back into VAPI and click on the phone numbers tab, we can create a new free phone number with VAPI, specifying the area code to call from. Note that at the time of this recording, only US area codes are supported by VAPI. Since we're building this assistant for learning purposes, we can simply use a US area code like 223. However, if you plan to deploy an assistant for production use and you or your client are located outside the US, you'll need to import a number from something like Twilio or Vonage. Okay, once that number is created, we can copy its ID, not the number itself, and paste it into the MakeVAPI module.